Hey YouTube, this is Sandra and I've decided to join the party. I've had my vertical sleeve gas direct to me on March 13th of 2013 and so it's been a year. Uh, I've been watching a ton of your videos over and over and uh, you know I kind of thought about it. I'm not um, I'm an INTJ, and so it's not really my nature to um, do a video, but I decided it was, uh, you know, not a bad idea to join the party and kind of add another um, color to the palette and uh, just another sleeve experience. I, um, let's see, I have uh, lost about 105 pounds. Uh, I'm going to give out some numbers because I think a lot of us are kind of into the comparison, kind of see how we're doing compared to others. Not that it necessarily matters, but I know um, I kind of feel like I'm kind of in the middle, maybe one of the slower losers. I'm 53. I'm single. I live in Marin County. I'm a native San Franciscan and uh, spent much of my life there and, and most of uh, the rest of it here. And... Um, I don't go to any support groups. I rely heavily on these YouTube videos and the Obesity Help website um, and forums for inspiration and information. And, uh, you know, looking at, I love all the before and after pictures, which um, I haven't really been very good about sharing myself. I would tell you that a dozen years ago, I weighed 364 pounds and I struggled with weight loss and did, oh, I'm going to say something kind of Atkinsy, you know, dropped all the, the white stuff, all the potatoes, rice and pasta and bread and had a really, um, you know, was pretty successful, got down to 220 something pounds, uh, life intervened, I gained some weight uh, and in 2010, I was diagnosed with a stage four uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, <clears throat> which <clears throat> that was about a year between the diagnosis and the treatment. And at that time was diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes. So um, good times. <laughs> uh, was successfully treated uh, for the cancer, leaving me with the diabetes, which kind of in comparison doesn't seem so bad, but when I see people in their 80s going through dialysis and did you guys see that Elaine Stritch there's a new movie out and it shows her dealing with cancer uh, excuse me uh, diabetes in her 80s yeah not a fun time uh oh there goes my dog with her squeaky toy sorry about that folks um let's see um in 2012, no, 2011, the end of 2011. Well, there were a lot of things that happened after that cancer, which was stage four, so there's no stage five, so that's always a big one. Uh, pretzel, come on, knock it off, sweetie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, after that, they found a big tumor, which was benign, but that was in my ovaries. Then they removed my ovaries, and I said, well, while you're there, do you want to grab my uterus because um, I'm not using it and they didn't and so like four months later guess who had endometrial cancer um, so then they took my uterus out um, I just felt like I had to tur turn the barge around I could not just cut down on things I had to cut things out I had to cut part of myself out right um, I ended up getting the sleeve, um, as I mentioned in March of last year. So it's been a year and, uh, at the same time they took care of a hiatal hernia. They also removed my gallbladder because I had had stones from previous weight loss. Um, but the surgery was a non-event. It was so easy. There were no complications. I had my surgery done in the morning. They kept me one night and by 10 in the morning, they were already asking me when I wanted to go home. And uh, it was just simple, simple. I had lots of friends offering to help, but um, I found really, you know, being home alone, just taking things on my own sweet time. Um, it was really just an easy thing. I didn't feel like I, you know, I stocked up on groceries and pro 
groceries, protein drinks and, um, you know, broth and all the usual um, suspects. Pretzel, pretzel, come on. Okay, she's really cute. Can you see her? Yeah, there she is. Thanks, pretzel, you little nutcase. Anyway, talk about, I guess now we know who the attention whore is. Um, okay, so I'm very happy with the weight loss. Um, I started out at about a 24, maybe a 26. Um, I am comfortably wearing larges, crazy. I am wearing size 14, which I didn't even wear that in high school. Um, I mean, I've been big my whole life to various degrees. I don't think it held me back too much from things. Um, the last 10 years, there were some physical, like I'm going horseback riding next week and I have not done that in years. And I'm thrilled. The weight limit out here for the place I'm going is 200 pounds. Um, I thought it was, it's usually about 225, but it's 200 pounds here. Um, you know what? I don't even, this is my first video, you guys. I have no idea where my eyes are supposed to be looking. I'm using my iPad. Pretzel! God damn. Anyways, um, what do I want to say? I want to say thank you to all you guys for putting up your videos and the, all right, hang on a sec. I'm taking away the, knock it off. Nice try. <clears throat> I want to thank you for all your videos, for your stories, for sharing, um, when it is challenging, and I think that's especially why I'm on here now, a year after my surgery. I've been, I guess I've lost about seven pounds in the last six weeks, seven weeks. Uh, I know it slows down. I expect it to slow down. I'm okay with it not being fast. I mean, honestly, um, okay, obviously I watched less of Sarah. Uh, you know, she's lost 200 plus pounds in a year. That's insane. Um, some of you guys have <laughs> reached goal in, I don't know, what, four or five months. And hey, that is awesome. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a year. Gosh, I started out at 295. I, I think my surgery weight was 287. I didn't get a lot of notice. Um, so I didn't have a whole pre-op thing. I had my surgery with Dr. Joe Sart who is based in, I guess, San Francisco and Novato, where I am. Um, and he was great. I would have to say there's not a lot of aftercare with his program. And that's why I rely on um, so much information that I'm able to glean from YouTube and Obesity Help and everywhere else. I think there's another vertical sleeve website I found, but I don't know. I, it didn't really work for me so well. Uh... What do I most enjoy? I really enjoy the grocery hauls, cooking, food prep. I think that's a big deal. You know, planning, I find, has been the biggest help for me. I love to cook. My boyfriend is a fabulous cook, um, and he actually develops products for companies we all know and places we all shop at, and he invents things, um, you know. Um, he recently has come up with a line of salad dressings that have to meet a certain very stringent requirements um, no fat, no dairy, no sugar. Um, he's come up with about six of them, and I think the client, who's a big name, you all know, um, is going to... Wow, can you find it? Can you believe it? She found another one. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know how to um, pause yet. Pretzel, no. This is her favorite. It's her kosher bone. Okay, stop. We're going to put this away for now. <clears throat> okay, so I love the grocery hauls. I guess I'll be sharing some hauls, um, some of the grocery items I uh, find myself. Share that with you. I'm going to, um, well, I can't put it on hold, damn it. Anyway, I did pick up a whole, you know, one of the things I really would like to be able to do is to have a less animal protein focused diet. Now right now in this weight loss phase and at 190.2 as of today, um, I still want to get down about another 40 pounds 
and that's going to take a while, but if I lay off the popcorn and the protein bars and peanuts, peanuts, uh, you know, it will happen. I just don't know when. Uh, I find that those are my slider foods. Living alone is great. I really find those of you who live with others, especially kids or partners who are not super healthy eaters, you guys are remarkable. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you don't just like lop off their heads. <laughs> okay, now you know I live alone. Um, it's just so much easier because I, I really try not to bring, you know, temptation into the house. Um, God damn with the ums. Well, I guess I'm going to just leave this as my introduction. And... I guess I can't exactly promise when I'll do another, but if I can successfully post this to YouTube, uh, that will be pretty awesome. And maybe I'll, and I know I'll get better at it. So um, thanks for being patient with my very unimpressive um, technique. And uh, anyway, that's my, you know what? I love film noir and hard boiled writing. And uh, I hired someone who did a mural in my home. That's not all of it, but it's a big portion of it. Uh, very big into the old movies and old music. Um, so, anyways, uh, I look forward to seeing more of your videos. And thank you for taking the time to put them up and for figuring out how to do this so well. Um, and that's me. That's my intro. Bye.